Hi everyone, I'm Torsi and welcome to this 30 minute yoga sequence with Runner. We're going to start today in a seated pose, just meeting me here in a cross-like position on your mats, resting your hands on your knees and lengthening through the spine. Once you're here with me, just close down the eyes, take a moment to check in and just observe how you feel in this moment as you press pause on the day you've had so far. As we close the eyes and focus our attention inward, we immediately start to feel increasingly aware of the physical body, but also how we feel as we breathe. So starting to acknowledge your inhale and your exhale. Drawing your attention now to the top of your head. And then scanning through your body all the way to the tips of your fingers and your toes. Noticing how you feel physically as a whole, but also starting to become conscious of those spaces that feel like they're particularly holding on to tension or to tightness. And as we move through this practice today, we will Focus on clearing these spaces of tension, but also giving the entire body a, a good stretch. For your final few rounds of breath in this pose, just gently rest your hand on your heart and the other hand on your belly. And as you breathe, starting to observe how your body responds to a deepened breath. So inhaling to feel the belly rise and the chest lift. And exhaling for the chest and belly to fall. So taking breath in, expanding through the body. And then letting breath out. Really nice. Just taking a few more rounds of deep breath in your own time and space. Good. Let's take our final deep breath. Before drawing our hands to meet in front of the heart. It's from here at the start of class that we set a small intention or goal for the practice, or simply just take that time to thank yourself for taking this time out of your day. And then together we open the eyes, we wiggle through the fingers and the toes, and we're gonna start today by taking a nice deep breath in, flipping the palms, circle sweeping the arms up above your head. And then as you breathe out, you're grounding into your left hand, reaching the right fingertips over towards the left hand side. Sit bones stay grounded here. We stay heavy through the hips and we reach those fingertips over, lengthening into the side body and starting to warm up the spine. Really good. Let's take a deep breath in, lift through center. And then a breath out to come off to the other side. Rooting through that right palm, reaching the left fingertips up and overhead towards the side. Gorgeous job, guys. Let's take a deep breath in, lift through center. And exhale, hands to your heart. Let's come over the knees, make our way into a tabletop position. So drawing your hands to rest under your shoulders, knees to rest underneath your hips. Great. 
Going to start with some cat cows in today's class. So let's take a deep breath in, lower the belly down, tilt the tailbone upward, open the heart for your cow pose. And as you exhale, push down through your palms, draw the tailbone downward, round the spine, chin to chest. Cat pose. Inhale for your cow. And exhaling for your cat starting to warm up the core. Inhale for your cow pose. And exhale for your cat pose. Brilliant, let's come back to a level tabletop position here. We're going to walk our hands forward as if we were making our way into a downward dog, but we're not quite there yet. We're going to keep our right knee underneath our right hip. And we're going to guide our left toes back behind us in space. So we're tucking through those toes. We're driving that left heel back. And we're welcoming a really lovely stretch through that left calf muscle. Now these may feel a bit tight. Don't worry. You can start by just mobilizing in this stretch through the ankle. So coming onto the tips of your left toes. And then driving back with that left heel. Just clearing some space up in that left ankle joint, mobilizing through the left ankle. And then gently driving that left heel back once you're ready. Opportunity here as well to switch on your abdominal wall, so drawing your belly button up towards your spine, feeling engaged through your center, strong through those arms, whilst we stretch out that left calf muscle. Brilliant. Take your final deep breath on this side. And then guiding those knees to meet under your hips. Let's come straight onto the other side. So left knee under left hip. Right toes draw behind us, tucking through those right toes, guiding that right heel back in space. And again, you may want to welcome some mobility here. So coming onto the tips of the right toes and then driving that right heel back, just being gentle here, but welcoming some clearance through that right ankle. And then once we're ready, just guiding that right heel to draw back, pushing firmly through the hands, strong through the arms, strong and stable through your core, stretching into that right calf. It's really important to keep those calves stretched out, preventing those lower limb injuries such as Achilles tendonitis, injuries through the ankles, just keeping everything supple and strong. Beautiful job. Okay, let's release through that stretch, guiding the knees to meet. Gently shake the hips from side to side. And then keeping the hands where they are, we are going to move into our down dog now. So tuck through the toes, lift the hips up towards the ceiling and take some nice generous pedals through the legs, bending into one leg, straightening through the other, starting to stretch, warm up those calves, those hamstrings lengthening into the spine, soften the knees as much as you need here to keep that spine lovely and long. Don't worry about the heels touching the earth, don't worry about having dead straight legs. The length in the spine is the most important here. Okay, on your next deep breath in, you're going to flow forward to a plank position. And from here, we're going to ground into our right palm. We're coming onto the knife edge of our right foot the arch of our left foot, and we're lifting the left fingertips up to the ceiling. So we're coming into a side plank here. We're switching on through the obliques, and we're opening into the chest. Pushing down firmly with that right hand. Good. Make your way back to your plank position. Strong and steady. And then we'll come onto the other side. So knife edge of the left foot, arch of the right. Right fingertips reach up to the ceiling, opening the chest, side plank. Welcoming some shakes here, it's a strong pose. We're heating up the body. Great stuff, let's come back 
through center, both hands meeting under shoulders, plank position. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop through the knees. Hug the triceps to the rib cage as you lower your chest and chin down to the mat. Untuck the toes, push into the tops of the feet. Inhale to lift through the chest, cobra pose. Exhale to melt the chest down to the earth. Take a tuck of the toes here and make your way back into your downward facing dog, lifting those hips lovely and high. Good. Okay, let's lift our gaze to our hands and start to gently walk our feet towards our wrists, just taking one foot at a time before meeting the feet hip width distance under those hips at the top of the mat. Soften into your knees, fold your chest forward towards those thighs and just take opposite elbows of your hands here and just shake everything out from side to side, just releasing through the backs of the legs, releasing through the lower spine. And let the head relax too, maybe shaking the head a little no, nodding a little yes, just letting some of that tightness draw out of your neck. And then welcoming some stillness at the top of the mat. Breathe in to lift your fingertips to your shins, lengthen your spine, flat back. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale, root to rise, pushing into the feet. Take your time to circle, sweep the arms, lifting and lengthening the high mountain. And then exhaling for your hands to meet at your heart center. Going to move through a strong standing sequence together, building some stability through the body. So we're gonna take a deep breath in to lift the prayer up towards the ceiling and then exhaling to fold forwards. Inhale for flat back. Exhale for forward fold. You're going to step your left toes back behind you in space. Back toes are tucked, heel lifted. Right foot roots to the earth, right knee aligns over right ankle as we lift through the body and we welcome our high lunge. So we're opening into the left hip. We're strong and stable. Really nice. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Breathing in again. And then as you breathe out, you're going to twist towards your right side and you're going to hook your left elbow over your right knee. Now you may want to lower the back knee down here. We are going to do that all together in a moment. But if you're struggling to maintain your breath, just drop that back knee down, no worries. Okay, now maintaining that rotation together, we're all going to drop down through that back knee and untuck the toes. So we're coming into a low crescent lunge twist. Brilliant stuff. On your next deep breath in, push firmly into that right foot and lift through the arms, coming into your low crescent lunge. Taking another deep breath in here. Exhale to shift the hips back guiding the fingertips under the shoulders, half split. Inhale to root into the left fingertips, reaching the right fingertips up towards the ceiling, half split twist. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale to frame your fingertips under the shoulder points. Breathing in here. And then exhaling to shift your weight forwards. Fingertips are going to frame that front foot. You're going to shift your left toes off towards the right side, lifting through the body, and we're coming into grounded warrior two here. So imagining we were standing, we're in that warrior two position. Arms are reaching out wide, and we get a really great external rotation through the right hip here. So we're opening into the pelvis, and we're strong through the arms, engaged all the way to the tips of the fingers. Lovely. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to ground your left palm towards the back of your mat. You're going to extend the right leg towards the top of your mat, and then you're reaching the right arm towards the back of your mat. Modified side plank. Lovely full body expression. Great. Together, let's take our time 
to walk our hands round the left side to frame that front foot. So we're back, right foot top of the mat, fingertips either side. We're going to tuck through the back toes, lift the back knee so that we're in a low lunge together. Take another deep breath in. And then as you exhale, start to gently peel those hip creases back. So we're moving into this pyramid pose. We're stretching into the right hamstring. Brilliant. Okay, here, so we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit. We're going to bend back into that right knee and we're going to draw our fingertips to the top corners of the yoga mats. Starting to guide our way into that right foot, we're going to lift the left leg back behind us. So we're coming into a supported warrior three here. Now, because this sequence was pretty long, extended, I'm gonna keep my fingertips down. You may want to lift them up to your heart. They're just taking your variation of your warrior three here. Beautiful, let's gently guide the feet to meet at the top of the mats. Soften into the knees and fold forward, let go. Great, and then take a deep breath in to reset. Find your flat back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward folds. And this time we're stepping our right toes back behind us, so we're coming onto the other side. Left knee is aligned over that left ankle. Fingertips are reaching up to the ceiling. We're opening into that right hip. Good. Lovely, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe in. And then exhale to twist towards your left side. So right elbow is hooking over left knee. Again, if you'd like to drop the back knee down to maintain a conscious breath, please do. That's good practice. And if not, so we're taking one more deep breath in together before we all drop that back knee down, maintaining our rotation, untucking the back toes. Now push firmly down through the left foot. Lift the fingertips up to the ceiling for your low crescent lunge, opening into your right hip. Take a breath in with me here. And exhale to shift things back, drawing the pelvis to center, the hips to draw back for your half splits. Root down into your right fingertips and lift the left fingertips up to the ceiling, opening into the chest, releasing into the outer hip and the spine. Brilliant job. Okay, fingertips come back down to the earth. We shift our hips forward together and we gently guide that right foot towards the left side this time, lifting through the body for our grounded warrior two. Arms reach out wide. We open into the left hip and we're strong through our center. Grounded warrior two. Great, okay, let's root that right palm towards the back of the mat, pointing the left toes towards the front of the mat and then reaching the left fingertips overhead towards the back. Modified side plank. Doing such a good job. Take your time on this next transition keeping it nice and safe. We're walking our hands off towards the right side, centering ourselves on the mat, fingertips framing our left foot at the top of the mat. We're gonna tuck through the back toes, lift the back knee up for a low lunge. Take a breath in. And then exhale to gently shift the hip creases back. We're coming into our pyramid pose. So we're lengthening into that left leg, starting to guide some flexibility into that left hamstring. Fabulous job, this really is a full body sequence. So doing really good. Okay, a little bit of a challenge here. We're gonna to start to guide our weight into that left foot, shift the fingertips towards the top corners of the mats. 
and gently start to guide our way into that left foot, lifting the right leg up behind us for warrior three. This is a supported variation if you would like to lift your hands to your heart, if that's in your practice and you can maintain a conscious breath, then absolutely go for it. But I'm just gonna stick in that grounded variation here to keep things strong and steady. Great, let's guide the feet to meet at the top of the mats. Folding forward over those legs. Inhale for your flat back. Exhale for your forward fold. Inhale, roots arise. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Amazing job. Now we're going to come into a posture that isn't fully focused on balance here, it's more focused on stretch, but it is an opportunity to practice your single leg balance. So we're going to root down through the left foot, and we're going to guide our right heel towards our right glute. So we're coming into a stretch for our right quadricep. Now you could just drop your fingertips down by your side, you could have your hand on your hip, or you could lift that it's left arm up to the ceiling it's up to you so we're kind of getting a double whammy here we're strengthening and stabilizing through the left foot and ankle the core but we're also getting a really good stretch through that right quadricep fantastic great let's release that Right foot down to meet the left, shake into those hands and feet. And then come onto the other side. So rooting down firmly through the right foot. We're guiding the left heel towards our left glutes, welcoming any wobbles. You might find one side a bit more shaky than the other, that's super normal. Again, fingertips can either draw down by your side, rest on your hip or lift up towards the ceiling above you. Stabilizing and strengthening that grounded foot and the ankle joints whilst we lengthen through the left thigh. Great job. Let's release things down to the earth, meeting with our feet hip width distance at the top of the mat. Take a generous bend into the knees, breathe in to circle sweep the arms, lifting tall, and then exhale to fold forwards. Inhale for flat back. Exhale forward fold, root the palms, take a breath in to step the feet back for your plank pose, shoulders over wrists. Nice deep breath in. Exhale to lower your knees, lower your chest and chin down to the mats with control. Inhale for cobra. And exhale for your child's pose. Hips back to your heels, drawing the forehead down to the earth. Fingertips reaching forward in front of you on the mat. Okay, let's lift our gaze to our hands. Walk the hands off towards your right side of the mat, dropping the head back down to the earth releasing into the left side body. Great job, lift your gaze to your hands, walk the hands back through center, and then take things off to your left side, dropping the forehead back down to the earth. Okay, let's lift the gaze up to our hands. Walk the hands back through center and then gently shift yourself into that kneeling position at the back of your mat. We're going to guide our hips off to one side, 
toes off to the other side and make our way onto our sit bones. Find a little bit of activation here before we come down onto our backs. We're going to take a boat pose together. So we come to balance on our sit bones here and lift those feet up off the earth in front of us. So heels are in line with those knees open through the chest, make sure you're not kind of shrugging into the shoulders, keep a nice open heart, and finding balance here, stabilizing through your core, so really switch on through your abdominal wall, and we have the option to reach those fingertips forward in front of us in space, boat pose, really good, welcoming those wobbles, those shakes, Strengthening your body, challenging yourself. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, we're going to cross our ankles here. So left ankle over right. Lift your fingertips up to the ceiling. Take a breath in. And then on your exhale, take a twist towards your right side. So guiding your right fingertips behind you and your left fingertips towards your right knee. And just gazing over that shoulder behind you for your twist. Head stays above heart, heart stays above pelvis. Okay, let's take a deep breath in, lift through center, fingertips reaching tall. Exhale, guide your hands down to your knees. You're going to change the cross of your ankles. So we're going to guide our right ankle to cross over our left. You may find that one side feels a bit abnormal. That is very normal. Take a deep breath in to lift the fingertips tall. And then a breath out to twist to the other side. So left fingertips behind you and your right fingertips towards your left knee, just looking over the left shoulder behind you to guide your twist with your gaze. Brilliant, everyone. Let's take a breath in to come through center. Fingertips lift up and then a breath out to meet the hands on the knees. Really good. Take your time to come down onto your back so we can end our practice with some relaxation. Well deserved. Fully extending your legs forward in front of you on the mats. Palms can face up by your sides or just simply rest on your belly as a means of connecting with your breath. And we take these final few minutes of the class to just integrate all of the positive practice we've taken on the mat today. And it's an opportunity for your body and mind to relax and to restore in corpse pose. Okay, everyone, let's start to wiggle through the fingers and toes. Preparing to guide the knees up towards the chest, giving ourselves a nice big hug, gently rocking from side to side. And just taking your time here to roll over to your right side. 
and nice and slowly make your way up to a comfortable seated position in which you can end your practice, preferably a pose in which you can lengthen your spine and draw the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Once you're here with me, taking a breath in to lift the arms up, touching the palms above you, and then exhaling to guide your hands to rest in front of your heart space. Just take this final moment to thank yourself for dedicating your energy to this practice, and I really hope you enjoyed this 30-minute sequence with Runner. <laughs>